And we are back. And so now we're going to figure out if we have any closed pack planes in our structure. So to have a closed pack plane, we have a, need to have a packing density of this 0.9069. Um, and basically what that means is the planar density, PD, is going to be equal to the number of atoms in our plane times pi r squared, because that's when we have a sphere and we cut through with a plane, it just leaves a circle we're in 2D, over the area of that plane. So why don't we get started and let's look at a simple cubic structure and let's see if we're trying to calculate the close pack plane we're looking at again the largest the highest number of atoms and the smallest plane effectively that we can operate in. So let's look at the one actually let's look at zero zero one so this plane. So whenever we do that, we want to project it in 2D. And so we have, see we have atoms here, here, here. But remember in 2D, we have other planes that touch all these. And we can see from this, each of these atoms rests on one, two, three, four, or it's shared by four different, essentially, planes here. So number of atoms is going to be one times pi times r squared. And we are going to take all of that. Oops. We're going to take all of that and not delete it. And we're going to divide that by the area of our plane, which will be area of simple cubic squared. And we see that is indeed not 0.9069. So we don't have, and we, you can kind of prove this, and you'll see this, do this in your problem set as well. We don't have any close pack planes for simple cubic. What about for BCC? So if I'm looking at BCC, I would think that the most dense plane would be this one. So this would be the 110 plane. So again, project in 2D. One thing to be careful of here is this is a this is a root two so be cautious of that so how many atoms here quarter 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 one in the center so that's two atoms so we can take this and remember it is two but now it's a bcc times a bcc times square root of two and we do that improving but still not the number what about FCC? So if we look at FCC here, and if we go ahead and draw this, two, three, four, five, boom. If we do this right here, this is our 111 plane for FCC, we can see that we have a structure that looks like this. And then we have boom, boom, boom. And we can draw additional cells. Let's actually zoom out a bit. Um, let's go ahead and draw this here. Um, so I can look at this atom and I could say it's shared with one, two, three, four, five, six. So each of the quarter atoms, uh, quarter atoms here, that is going to be shared by a six, a six, a six. So that's a half. And we know that these are all shared by half. So that's half plus a half plus a half plus a half. So that's going to give us two. And we should know or remember back for an equilateral triangle, it's going to be if this is x, this is square root of three over four times x squared, where x here is what? Well, x is going to be effectively here. x will be our uh, can kind of look at this right here. Our x is going to be a FCC root two, um, and you can kind of see that here. So we're going to take this. We're going to do this. Divide by square root of three. Three divided by four. Let's break that in. So three divided by four times our basically square root of 2 AFCC squared. 
and let's shift enter. And what do you know at 0.9069? Excellent. So we do have our close pack plane. Let's go back to our up here. So we don't have any close pack planes for simple cubic. We don't have any close pack planes for BCC, but we do have a family of close pack planes, which is 111 for FCC. So the big thing that we want to take away from this is that we can have close packed planes for close pack structures. We can have close pack directions for non close pack structures, but we cannot have close pack planes. Now the close is packed plane would be 110 here and 1100 here, but they are not close packed planes. They are the close is packed planes for those structures. So if my structure is not close packed, I can't have a close packed plane. So that's a very nice, um, very nice thing to kind of keep in mind as we move through these materials. So that is crystalline materials, but we are not done just quite yet. We have to go through and talk about uh, a little, actually a very, very cool tool to look at amorphous materials, um, and specifically polymers, but also crystalline materials in our PDF slash RDF function. So we'll see you next time. Thanks.